Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch, and on this rather grey July day, we're doing a video on this two-tone grey and white Swift Bolero 680 FB from 2008. So the Swift Bolero range, they came out in 2007, and I would say, credit to Swift, they were an absolute game changer. Um, they instantly made everything else look 10 years out of date, and they were so far ahead of their time in their modern looks and styling, that they still look up to date to date and they still sell incredibly well they're probably the best 2007 2008 2009 bit of stock we could ask for as a dealer really really popular i've had multiple holidays in um, bolero 680 fbs over the years i've been taking one down to minus 15 which was the coldest i've ever been in toasty and i love them because you get a nice lounge you get a really good kitchen with a big fridge bathroom with a separate shower and a nice comfortable fixed bed in a seven meter package it's low profile, looks great, it's not too big, not too small, three and a half ton, you can drive it, they're a really good egg. And for that reason, uh, they sell really well, and they've gone up in price, everything's gone up in price, hasn't it, in this day and age, in July 2022, uh, and they still sell incredibly well. Uh, so let's have a look, a look at the window sheet on this particular one. We'll do a warts and all video, as we always do on all of our stocks, so any little faults and things, which they're going to be on a 14-year-old van, I'll point out as we go around. So it's a... Swift Bolero 680 FB is the best selling one of the Bolero range, 2008 on an 08, it's got a fixed side bed, four berth, two seat belts, you can sleep four but you can't travel with four, but going locally take a, take a car, just take the kids with you in the car, whatever. Three and a half tonnes, you can drive on a normal licence, Fiat Cato 2.3 manual, six speed turbo diesel, there are one or two five speed 2.2s of these but not many, this is the six speed, the bigger engine, done 47s and normal mileage. 7.04 long, 2.35 wide, 2.79 high, and it's priced at 34.95, which in this crazy times is about right for one of these. Um, so, looking at the cab, we've got a little stone chip down there, and a little bit of damage there. Nothing much, but it has it is there, a little scratch there, all in keeping with one of its uh, one of its year. What it doesn't have is any flaky paint, so you'll suffer on Ducato vans of. Um, of this age um, from flaky paint on the A pillars and things. We saw them before they go out, but this one hasn't got it, so cab's all in good condition. Uh, slight sort of um, discoloration of the headlights, passing them OT fine. Ah, there's some flaky paint, so on the A pillar here, very common, so we'll sort that out before it goes out. Apart from that though, she's all fine, she's had some mud flaps fitted to the front, which is good. Um, long arm electrically adjustable heated wing mirrors. Walking around the side, we can see she's a two-tone van. She's got the uh, silver sides, grey sides, whatever you'd call it. That's all in good condition. So we've got a factory fitted awning with a full length awning rail underneath of it. Don't know why you'd use that when you can use the awning rail built into the wind out awning. Sentry locks habitation door. It's got some extra security locks fitted to this one. Malenko security lock there that you can open from the inside and the outside just to help secure your door. That's uh, so showing some wear, but that's normal on them. Vents for your three way, very large fridge freezer, awning light on the outside, and then you lock a door to give you access to the storage underneath your bed. If you really need two hands to do this, so I'm going to point the camera at the floor for a minute. There we go. That gives you a good bit of storage where you can see your carpets and things underneath your fixed bed there. Flue there for your Truma gas and electric blown air heating system. We've got double glazed windows all the way around. There is a very, very light indentation there. It's only cosmetic. And I thought I saw a tiny little, tiny little scuff there. You can't even feel that. That might polish out. Rear corner pieces are fine. That's got, there's a little crack there. So when it goes to get the A pillar painted, we'll get the body shop to do that as well. We like our stock to be, to be right. We'll also come with a full MOT, a full engine service, a cam belt change and a full habitation service. On the back, there's a handy tow bar. So if you're taking electric bikes, uh, which are a bit heavy to lift up onto the bike rack, you can get a tow bar mounted bike rack. Or for lighter bikes, you've got a uh, high level bike rack uh, up there. That will take 60 kilos. You can put electric bikes on it, but you just have to lift them up to it. Uh, it's just come down from our other branch. This one's so it's not been cleaned, but it's all tidy enough in fairness to it. We'll get a detailed valet before it goes out. Uh, Thepa cassette toilet locker there for your toilet. Main hookup, you've got single leisure battery. We could fit a second one and or a solar panel. 
gas locker there for two Calagas bottles and your underslung fresh water tank fill up point for your 100 litre fresh water tank. Condition down this side is, is all absolutely fine. Yeah, can't see anything there. Looking at the cab spec, this is quite a good spec on this. So all the Boleros have got the um, cab blinds. They fit in some additional Malenko security locks on the cab doors as well. If you're going abroad, you do hear of people getting broken into, so that's a useful thing to have because you can secure your cab doors. They normally come in through the cab doors to the uh, European criminal types. We've got in the cab a high-level reversing camera, which replaced the original one with a mirror-mounted monitor, which is good. We've got a wood dash kit, which is nice. We've got cab air conditioning, which a lot of them didn't have. Um, there is steering wheel controls for your stereo which is over there which is an upgrade one but you might want to upgrade it again with a double din system you can do that if you want but that's there and it's an upgrade over the original one so you've got the aircon you've got the six speed gearbox heated wing mirrors it's also had um aftermarket cruise control fitted which is on a stalk down there now we don't check or guarantee aftermarket electrics but it's there and we'll we'll leave it there and uh, we've got air ride hear that so this is a top of the range air ride system so that will smooth off the back end you can adjust the height of the back end and it will just stop it being quite so crashy and quite so wallowy sort of thing as well so you can add air into your rear suspension with the with the compressor or let it off through there basically uh, it's in addition to the normal springs and dampers so it's it's not a system that can cause you any trouble it's all good uh, there's a thatchman category one alarm system been fitted as well um, and yeah cab spec is excellent overall spec of the van is, is excellent as well so that's the outside we'll have a walk around to the inside now so coming in through the central centrally locked Door. you've got an opening window there's no fly screen door on these because they had the opening window instead and you come in straight into the middle of the van you've got your kitchen ahead of you your bathroom and your bedroom to the rear of you your big fridge freezer there and then you've got a nice parallel sofa lounge at the front basically so European vans always had dinettes and fixed tables and there weren't anywhere to put your feet up but this one you've got your twin swivel cab seats two comfortable side sofas these simply pull together to make a double bed for guests or if you've had an argument um, driver's seat little uh, passenger seat a little bit mucky there maybe someone's had oily hands but we should be able to clean that up okay I uh, can't currently move that forward I think it's stuck or maybe I'll be able to unstick it anyway but that would swivel around as well if I could move it forward someone's replaced the um, a lot of the light bulbs with LEDs and uh, they fitted this bit of wood up there which I'm guessing had a curtain attached to it but you don't really need that because you've got the cab blinds around the front there very common on these Boleros is the internal panel on the panoramic roof light cracking I'd say two out of three mate or at least one out of two 50% of these Boleros have that uh, these aren't available anymore it's not going to completely disintegrate or anything like that it's fully watertight it's just a cosmetic issue because uh, that's in the inside panel not the outside panel uh, lots of them do it it's just something to make you aware of as so we can't rectify it on a van of this age um, so you've got blinds and fly screens on all of the side windows you've got your blind first and then your fly screen chases it really good kitchen so you've got this really deep rotunda covered here with your swivelly bits comes with some free rice that one deep sink bizarrely they fitted a draining board these came originally with a clip-on draining board this fan's not been cleaned so it is a bit grubby inside but it's not smelly or anything like that it's fine uh, these did have a clip-on draining board originally someone's had a fixed one fitted so they must really like that flaky wood is the other thing which bolero suffer from some of these bits when he's sticking back down again you can see here we're like the wood laminate just lifts we'll stick these down again it is something you'll see on most of these now a little bit up there to stick so we'll go through and stick them down again but it's something you'll see on all the boleros oven we've taken the uh, cooker knobs off and locked them away for safekeeping but we do have them we've got three gas burners and one mains electric we've got a grill and we've got a proper oven underneath of it and a high level microwave which is really good lots and lots of deep cupboard space so i've been on loads of trips in these and i really like these to just give everything everything you want i think big thetford fridge freezer a really big thetford fridge freezer look at that it's massive and fully separate freezer on top handy storage cabinet above with a safe in it heat controls for your blown air heating system two toggle switches i've got no idea what they're for but they're aftermarket 
Oh, fan, booster fan, I think, for the fridge. That, that's handy. This is a van that's obviously gone into some uh, some European camping with very hot weather. Um, simple control panel, tells you your on off for your lights and your water levels and battery levels and all that lot. Awning winder handle down there. And then your lovely fixed bed. Now, this has got a very, very expensive and very lovely Juvelet mattress. They are ridiculously expensive. So it's not the original mattress. It's been upgraded. That's in mint condition as well. It's really, really good. Storage underneath all of there. A little bit more flaky wood here. Freestanding dining table, which goes between your sofas. Or you can put it outside. And then your TV bracket back here. It's got a digital TV aerial on the roof. So you put your TV there and swing it around to face the front if you want to watch from the front there. Three nice curved cabinet ones, uh, high level cupboards above with some shelving units and again more LED spotlights. Your wardrobe, you've got a concertina door here that will come across to separate your bedroom and your dressing area from the rest of the van. And then you've got your wardrobe here, which is really, really big with your digital TV aerial at the top, shelving beneath. Someone's added this little upholstered pocket there, which is a good idea. And this is a good idea too, because everybody who's ever, ever owned a Bolero 68 TFB will hit the bathroom door handle with the wardrobe handle. Speaking of the bathroom, so you've got a separate shower bathroom. It fits some additional storage there, which is handy. Decent sink with a vanity unit beneath. Your separate shower is a two-door one, so you've got one door that will come across there, and then your other door that comes across uh, to separate it with your toilet at the end another cupboard high level light up there that's all in good order so overall she's a decent example of the breed good spec reasonable mileage nice to have the air con 34995 is what they go for and they go very quickly uh, this has got a few more bits for some of the others as well so it's our 2008 swift bolero 680 fb always good news at highbridge motorhomes devon branch um, that is us that's our address on there we're just off the a38 south devon expressway that's the landline number 01626832792 or you can uh, contact us through the highbridge caravans website about our 2008 swift bolero 680 fb at 34.995 thank you very much goodbye